Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and today I'm going to be cutting some heat transfer vinyl with my Xtool M1. Now I'm going to decorate some bags and I've got these little gift bags here and I'll put a design onto the front of those. I'm also going to put a design onto the heavy canvas bag that came with my Xtool and also our no frills tote bag that we recently did a tutorial on and I'll put a link in the description below. So the first thing is to remove the protective covering from the mat. Now keep these covers because they'll keep your mat dust free when you're not using it. We're using the blue mat because we're going to be cutting final. Now the mats are sticking on both sides so you just pop it into your machine and just line it up there nicely against the white lines and it'll stick in place and that means you, your project is not going to move. Okay then, so that's all done. Now you need to make sure there's a blade in the blade holder, so if this is your first time you'll need to put a blade in. The blades do come with your machine, and you take one up. The blade holder is magnetic, held into the machine, and the blade is also uh, held in by magnet. Press the plunger, just pop the blade in, let the plunger go, and you'll see that it falls nicely into the blade holder where it's held in place. Now you need to adjust the point so that only the 45 degree tip is showing. And once you've got that done, simply take the holder and pop it back into the machine. Now the first project we're going to do is using the text and the shapes that are in the Xtool Creative Space software. So click on text and the text box comes up and in there I'm going to write my what I want to say which is a special. Now I'm going to use a, a different typeface. I want to use pumpkin butter which is from Creative Fabrica. Now this uh, is a really nice font and I've loaded it into my computer and I'm going to change the size to 30. So once that's done, come back over to the text, okay, the T for text, click on the mat, and then the text box comes up again. And now I'm going to write gift. Okay, so I write that there, come down and I'm going to change my font again. Now I'm going to use Regile. I'm not sure how they pronounce it, but that's you can see it there on the screen and I'm going to change that to 100 because I want that to be the focal point of my message so once that's moved over there I'm going to come back and do text again onto the mat and then I'm going to put for you in the text box and again I'm going to be using the pumpkin butter and change it to 30 okay so now I'll just adjust those around so that they sit where I want them to sit and now I'm going to add a shape. So I come over here to the shapes and come down and I'm going to select the heart. So I put the heart over there and I just um, drag it down and of course it's a bit big. So come up and make sure when you're changing the size of anything you click the lock. Otherwise things will become um, distorted. Okay, so I've changed the shape and turned it on the side. And I think I want another one of those as well. So I'm just simply going to right click on it and go um, copy and come over to the other side of the message and press paste. Again, just going to turn it round so that it's on an angle and I'm quite happy with that. I think that's looking, looking quite good. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just highlight the whole message and we're going to right click and group. So now I can move it around on the mat to wherever I want it. Now because it's a little project, I'm just going to pop this bag into the machine. Now I'm not going to cut it or do anything with it. I'm just putting it in here for a size. Normally you just measure the size of your project, but as I say, this was a tiny bag, so I thought I'd just pop it in there. So now the machine will take a photo, as it always does, and uh, as you can see there it says image capturing. Now it shows the mat and it shows the bag on the mat. So I can just adjust the size of my message uh, and so that it fits nicely onto the bag. So I'll just move it around a little bit, line it up where I want it, and then I'm going to take the bag out because as I say, I'm not doing anything with the bag. Right, so now I'm adding my vinyl. Now make sure your vinyl is shiny side down. Okay, so line it up and just press it into place and then close the lid and you'll see that the machine will again take another photo and it'll bring up the showing the vinyl. Now what we need to do here is reflect horizontally our image because we have wording and if we just type the, the other way it'll be wrong when we go to put it onto the bag so make sure you do that step. Now we're going to go to blade cut 
because we're cutting vinyl. And we're also going to, in the user-defined material box, we're going to select the PU heat transfer vinyl. Now this machine will automatically cut the vinyl with the kiss cut, so it only cuts halfway through. Uh, it does a beautiful job, really. So here we are, we're just going to move our message up into the corner there because we want to conserve as much vinyl as we can. Now we go to process and we're going to frame. So we press the button on the software and we also press the button on the machine. Now the reason that we want to frame our design is to make sure that the design is actually sitting on the vinyl and not off to the edge. So this gives us that opportunity to check. So once we've finished framing, we come up to the start button and just press that. And then we also press the button on the machine and away the blade head goes, it's going to now start cutting our design. And as I say, because this is a vinyl, it's going to do a kiss cut. Now, we've finished cutting the design and we remove our vinyl from the machine. Just peel it off gently. And now I like to cut my pieces into size so I can serve my vinyl. And I'm just going to weed it off, so I just pull off all the excess. And uh, you can use your Cricut weeding tool if you've got one. And just very carefully pull everything off. And then we go through and weed out all of those O's and R's and E's and all those other bits and pieces that need to be clear. And there is our first design done. So for my next design, I'm going to bring in an image from my computer. So I go up to image and click on that and then go and find the image on my computer. Now these were two SGF files from Creative Fabrica and I put them together in Photoshop. Okay, so we open them onto the uh, creative space and you can see it's quite big. I don't want it that big, so I'm going to group it together and then I'll come up and press the lock and then I can just adjust the size. Now I know how big my uh, image is and I want it to be eight inches, uh, eight inches in width. So I just select that and then I reflect horizontally because it has words. So now I put my vinyl shiny side down on top of the mat, close the lid and then I come in here and I select the blade cut and also the PU transfer vinyl. Now I'm just going to move my design onto the mat and properly and then I do the framing and go through the same process as we did before. Now to adhere your vinyl to your project, you're going to need a heat source. So you can use your iron or you can use your Cricut heat press. I'm going to use my HDV Rot heat press. So I'm just positioning my design where I want it on my bag and I put it down lower because I want to um, have the wording still show when I've gathered it up. So I just put a cover sheet over it, bring over my heat press turn on the button and I'm allowing about 15 seconds for this so I just apply a little bit of pressure it doesn't need a lot for these muslin bags and so I just hold it there until the um, heat press beeps and tells me that the process is done I really like these uh, the HDV Rond heat press it works really well okay so now we just let it cool for a moment so wave it around a bit and whatever and then just check that it's lifting it up carefully from one edge to see if the vinyl has adhered and it has so I just pull that sheet over and there you are. So now I'm going to put the design onto our no frills tote bag. Now we have a free tutorial on how to make this tote bag on our uh, website and I will put a link in the description below. Now this is a furnishing fabric and it's got a bit of an open weave so I did find that I had to do a couple of passes on this with the heat press just to get it to stick but that often happens and that's why you only ever pick up from the corner uh, at the start just to check that everything is in order before you go ripping the whole uh, cover sheet off and I think that looks really great and, and it's stuck quite well. So for our last design we use the canvas bag, it's a heavy canvas from Xtool and it looks awesome. These are two other bags that I did with the, uh, with the gift bags and here's all of the projects that we've done in this video.